boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol K U L R cooler technology. Uh, this is a company that we've covered here on the channel. We've talked about it. I, I mean, in the past, again, we'll talk about it because of the particular industry, what the company does, and at this, this stage in which the company is currently. So I wanted to bring these guys to uh, your attention so that you can at least see if this is an opportunity for you to uh, jump in. Uh, we'll talk about that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to cooler technology, again, this is a company that we've covered here on the channel. So you, would, you most of you guys are um, no strangers to this particular company. Uh, cooler technology is in a unique space of its own uh, because of their product line. Cooler technology basically helps company that uh, deal in uh, most of the, the EV stuff like lithium batteries. They help to build materials or build technology that helps protect these batteries. Um, one of the main uh, common uh, product that they actually put out there was uh, sending the rover to Mars. So they actually built the protective casing that the lithium battery that powered the rover was actually um, inserted into. So it's a really good uh, technology. And again, if you look at it from the perspective of where things are shifting, they're talking about EV, uh, more so everything becoming electric. All, I mean, lithium battery on itself, it's very combustive. So you have to protect it. So if, if it's flying of helicopters or planes or anything that uses a lithium battery, you want to make sure that you protect that lithium battery. So that's where cooler technology comes in. And so this company is still at the very early stage of uh, their development. So for most people that are not familiar with them, I'd say go do some a little bit of research about them. That way, at least you know exactly uh, what they, this company does. So in the past, we've talked about the company and we've seen the company actually go, you know, make some moves on the upside as far as the the stock, and then back to the downside um, as, far, as far as the stock. So uh, recently, Kula Technology was actually in the news. So I, I mean, I probably bring that up here so you guys can see. So recently, they were in the news because. Um, they actually have this uh, offer or they've secured uh, a one million dollar contract from H55. You know, again, this is this is the things that when I look at and I see that they are getting these contracts coming your way, I see like, OK, people are starting to recognize that this company is doing something good. Um, so they have that contract, which if you look at translated to the stock getting a boost in the market, which we're going to look at um, here shortly. But one of the most important things that happened to the company this year uh, is the fact that the company itself retired all their outstanding uh, Yuckville debt. So um, I think I do have that here if, uh, if I can pull it up uh, because this is this is this is a really important thing, very very important because uh, for a company to be able to retire the debt. Uh, I think it's just it's just outstanding. So here's the information um, that they put out. So on March 27, 2024, Cooler Technology Group um, issued a press release announcing that all outstanding debt amount owed to Yorkville um, advisor have been retired in accordance with their terms which means that this company is sitting uh, in a really good financial position. I mean, the, their financial future is bright, just put it that way. So this is, this is awesome. Again, if you look at uh, some of the things that they've done here, um, again, this is just as of April um, 2nd, this is where they actually had that, um, that million dollar contract. So on April 2nd, 2024, Kula Technology, issued a press release announcing the company had entered into a contract with H55 uh, Inc. to supply cooler unique thermal runway shield TRS within its propulsion system. So again, this is the, the stuff that cools uh, batteries um, for companies that use a ton of lithium batteries. So if you can see here, this material that goes around the battery 
they build that to keep these uh, these batteries protected, just in case there's any combustion. So that that's how they were. I mean, they, they got that contract. And if we just go back here to their to their side, you can see some of the companies that they work with. I mean, mostly uh, NASA in this case, which is that rover, which they help protect the lithium battery that powered the rover that went to Mars. Um, they have Lucky Martin, which is another big company, Department of Transportation, obviously, because they're shifting towards electric vehicles and um, like EV and clean energy. You're going to see a ton of lithium batteries. And these lithium batteries, like I said, need a protection. And then, obviously, the Federal Aviation Administration. So those are some of their key customers. As you can see, these are big players in the space especially if you're dealing with uh, Lockheed Martin because they do a lot of government contracts uh, Department of Transportation I mean when it comes to you having contracts with the government you know for sure you are always going to get paid federal um, aviation you know for sure you're always going to get paid so I'm excited about um, where cooler is going um, as a company so let's take a little bit here about our kind of the, their earnings compared to what's coming up um one key thing that I want to bring up to you guys is the fact that um, if you just go back to their announcements here, just so we don't forget, uh, as of April, uh, on April 12th, they are going to do um, their quarterly earnings. And this would be the fourth quarter of 2023. They're going to do that, that call um, after hours. So April 12th, um, 2024 at 4.30 p.m. Um, Eastern Time. So they're going to do that call. I think this is very, very important because they're going to talk about this new contract. They're obviously going to talk about retiring the outstanding debt. And then that's going to really shape the future of the company uh, from a financial standpoint. So uh, one of the things I wanted to show you guys here is uh, if you just look at their earnings, um, the past, this is 2021 all the way to 2023, uh, you can see uh, the, the earnings is just it's been all right. I mean, I wouldn't say it's been terrible. Uh, let's go to their revenue here. Look at revenue has been growing um, since uh, Q1 of 2022. The revenue has consistently been going up. So again, here for 20, uh, Q, Q4 of 2023, I'm anticipating that the revenue would go up and then come Q1 of 2024, we might see a significant bump because of these new contracts that they're getting right now. So that is something that um, I want you guys to, to keep an eye on. So now let's just kind of take a look at the stock itself and see what this stock has been up to. So if you guys remember, I think we started talking about this stock back in 2020. Maybe I got to go pull the video out um, for that. But if you see where we started talking about the stock, it was trading at about $1.50 back then. And since then, it squeezed up to a high of close to $4 in, um, in just right there towards the end of uh, 2021. And then obviously 2022, uh, you, I mean, all tech stocks really did pull back. So that massive pullback, you can see this all of 2023, uh, it just kept going down. And then 2024, you can see even here, came down all the way to about 10 cents. And uh, for me, because I, I have this company and I'm, I'm holding it long term, I, it didn't really bother me. I just kept buying. And then now it looks like it's starting to squeeze back um, to the upside. So for, for long term players, again, the reason why I like this stock is because of the industry in which the, the, the company is. Um, we're going EV direction, we're going um, electrification. All that lithium battery needs protection. So these guys are obviously going to have a ton of customers. And then the other thing that you want to look at too is that it's a company that is still in the very early stages. So you're not coming in a, in a company that's already established. And uh, when I mean established in terms of uh, revenue and everything. So here we're still anticipating that they're gonna, the revenue is going to grow um, over time as they onboard more and more customers. So that's why I'm excited about this. I, I keep buying it. So for me, anything uh, with this particular company, as long as I have the money, if it stays under a dollar, I just keep loading up and loading up because 
if we can just take a look here, and this is again from the, the early days when the company actually went public, um, a high of $4.25, you can see there. But for me, my target would probably be around that $3.50, $3.5 right here. That would be a good target for me to start looking at, even maybe take some profit if, if it comes to it. This is something that I, I look forward to, and I, I think for those of you guys that don't have any exposure, this would be a company that you want to put on your radar. Again, number one, the company is in a very unique space. Um, again, that's where they're pushing. If you see most of the car manufacturers, or even the government is pushing that we should go EV, which means that there's going to be business for them. Um, number two, the company, again, is still at the very early stages of growth. If you can see, this, the company hasn't had a ton of growth. So from here, it, it can only go up. Um, and then you start to see they bringing in more customers and getting that exposure. And the more customers they, they onboard, um, the better this company is going to be for us. So that is why I am right now still buying cooler technology. Um, if you guys, I've been posting on on, on my my channel, not not videos, but just on on the the regular post site. I'll put images and just kind of talk about it when the stock was squeezing. Um, so we've seen some, some movement. So like from this 10 cents, it went up to 50 cents and then pulled back a little bit and then went up to, I think, a high of about 80 something cents before now sitting somewhere around 70. But again, like I said, anything under a dollar, I am still loading up. My goal is to maybe if I can get to 100,000 or 200,000 shares of this, that would be a really good place to be. So I'm just slowly but steadily uh, picking up the shares as we go. As it drops, I try to buy uh, as much as possible. The beauty about it is that the stock is still um, a kind of a penny stock. So it, I love the fact that I can, for my little money that I have, I can buy a ton of, of shares and just, just sit on them and wait um, as the company grows. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about Cooler Technology? Is this a, is this a company that's on your radar? Um, if you do own any shares of Kula Technology, what's your game plan? What are you thinking? You holding long term or are you thinking of taking some profit at some point? Let me know again in the comment section. And as always, guys, always do your due diligence. This is, I mean, I can give you guys, I do the research I give you guys, but it's always good for you to kind of see, uh, go and look at the company. Just go, even if it's on Twitter, like you can see here, they have, um, go to their Twitter account and just look at the company and see what people are saying about it. Just read and understand what this company does. It really does help. Um, you become a better investor. You're not just following. So I'd love for you to take make the initiative to, to, to kind of do some of, some of that research. Again, guys, that is my take. Let me know again in the comment section what you think. And as always, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.